Well, hi friends, it's Heike and it's Wednesday 1 p.m. and I will be here every Wednesday at 1 p.m. unless I let you know. But today's topic is intermittent fasting. Just recently, I was interviewed on a podcast and the hostess asked me about intermittent fasting and she was quite curious of how to start intermittent fasting and what this is all about. And I thought, hey, if she's asking me on a business podcast about intermittent fasting, I need to talk about it here with you on Pursue Your Spark. So you have heard me talk about intermittent fasting in the four week lean out program which is starting just around the corner we'll be back in october with the program but you may have been on the fence and said you know i don't know if intermittent fasting is for me and then you saw some other people talk about it i'm sure or you read about it somewhere and you said you know what it piques my curiosity i would like to try this but how do I actually get started? Does it mean I just stop eating and then I start eating at some point again? Or is there a plan? And um, what about, what can I expect when I'm fasting? These were all good thoughts and they were also asked by the hostess of the podcast I was interviewed in. So I thought, as always, I try to make it simple. I want to boil it down to what you need to know right now. And we can always build on top of that with, as you know, baby steps. So for the first time faster that thinks that fasting could be a great way to lose weight or a different way of eating or fighting the uh, menopause belly or just to try something different, or the one that has cravings all the time, or somebody who's dealing with bloating, you probably thought intermittent fasting would be great. Yes, it is, but there's always a but, of course. We need to build on what we do, how we do it, and when we do it. First off, Tip number one, and I'm sharing three tips today on how you can get started intermittent fasting that is super simple. First off, you are managing your mindset. What does that mean? Intermittent fasting is not another diet. It's not about giving you bad foods or good foods or takes foods out of your diet and brings in a whole new regime of making things or cooking things or you spend hours in the kitchen preparing things or have to go and buy food items that are not in your pantry. This is not intermittent fasting. So in a nutshell, picture this. You are somebody who eats six meals a day. That means three meals, three snacks or two snacks. Well, Let's say two snacks, because the midnight snack is not something I encourage ever. But think about it. So you have five to six meals. Yeah, the big meals and the small meals. So if you're doing what you're normally doing, and then at seven o'clock you finish dinner, you start at six, finish at seven, or you finish at seven, uh, start at seven and finish at eight with your dinner, which is a little late, but that's okay. We all have a different life rhythm. And then you don't eat. You don't have your midnight snack and you don't eat until the next morning, let's say at eight. That's normally when you eat breakfast. You are already fasting. That means that you don't continuously feed your body with any food source, whether it's fat or uh, carbohydrates or um, proteins, the body is just happily digesting uh, while you're sleeping. So the reason too is the earlier you eat, the better and easier you can sleep because then your gut doesn't digest. So think about intermittent fasting. You slept through the night, it was easy peasy. And if you, no, you, most of us sleep through the night for the most part. 
you know what I mean. You're not hungry. You're not getting up every three hours and saying, oh, I need a snack now. I need, to, I need to get something to eat. You sleep and you fast. The next morning, you start your rhythm all over again. So this is one way of looking at fasting. You take a break from eating. Now, as you become more experienced in intermittent fasting, and I will introduce you to the different ways you can fast in the four week lean out program, but simply saying you don't change anything else, but all you do is you say, okay, I'm gonna give intermittent fasting a try and I just don't eat after dinner till breakfast. That is already a good way to fast. Or you could say, I'm moving up my hour of eating an hour up. So instead of seven, I eat at six and I'm extending my fast just by another hour. You are fasting and my friend, this is the easiest and most successful way to start fasting. Don't make it complicated. Don't think about ooh, fats, carbs, macros, and all this kind of stuff. Think about, I'm just taking a break from eating. That's your mindset strategy. I'm taking a break from eating because I don't need it while I'll sleep. I want you to try this this week. So I want to hear reports from you telling me how this maybe moving dinner hour an hour early or breakfast an hour later and your fasting, how that worked out for you, for you. And thinking about fasting, not as a diet, not as a starvation technique, but simply as taking a break eating. So moving on to number two, hydration. This is huge in intermittent fasting, guys. And the more you drink liquids, and I get to the details in a minute, the less hungry you will be as you're progressing in your fasting techniques. And drinking, I mean, okay, here we go. Here is my herbal tea that I basically have with me all the time. If it's not water, then it's herbal tea. And then there is sparkling water just to liven things up a little bit. But stay away from caffeinated drinks. They're really hard on your gut. And when I started intermittent fasting, I back then still drank coffee in the morning. And I learned that even though it, I didn't notice a big difference, that my gut was not very healthy and, and uh, fasting is a way of healing your gut and giving your gut a break from constantly working and constantly being overactive, which can contribute to the bloat bloating that we sometimes experience. So hydrate, stay away from drinks, uh, drink herbal tea, water, uh, flavored waters to hydrate. How much? A lot. And I mean, not just a glass or two, at least 10 glasses a day. Now, you could put a water bottle on your desk and just keep drinking and drinking several times a day and, and uh, finish that water bottle two or three times a day. But I want you to, every time when you're hungry during the day, I want you to take a sip of water or two first. So before you grab something to eat, drink some water, Drink some herbal teas, drink some bubbly water, whatever you drink. So stay away from caffeine sodas. We don't even touch sodas. Um, but go with that strategy that you hydrate when you're hungry and then see when you're actually hungry again. So that's number two. That is hydrating. Number three is be realistic about intermittent fasting. If you want to make a change in how you feel, how you, uh, how much energy you have, how you function every day, how you sleep, intermittent fasting is not a miracle cure. If you want to lose some weight, if you're saying, you know what, nothing else has worked, I want to try intermittent fasting, that's usually not what happens. If you continue with how you ate and drank before. I always say you have good nutrition, nutrition that gives you energy, and then you have calorie in, intense or high in calorie foods that are not giving you the bang for the buck. So there will be some cleaning up of your diet as well. But since we're just starting out, keep it simple. So I want you to start 
not eating after dinner or start breakfast an hour later or dinner an hour early. That's all I want you to do. Step number two, drink a lot of water. And you can use a piece of paper and you can make marks on it or you know how to count it in your water bottle. You know I drank three of those. However you want to count, drink. The first thing I want you to do is drink some water when you feel hungry. Okay, that's strategy number two. Strategy number three is just see how it goes. Don't have high expectations that suddenly you lost 10 pounds or five pounds by the end of the week, week because you ate a little earlier, ate a little uh, later, drank more water. But I can guarantee you, you will feel better. You will feel a ton better. So be realistic. Baby steps never go gung-ho all the way out, but they produce results in the long run. They help you achieve the goals and sustainable goals, not just, oh, I do intermittent fasting like in the four week lean out program for four weeks and then I'm going back to my normal. No, it's a lifestyle. And I'm really, I'm loving it. I'm excited about intermittent fasting. I've been doing it for two years and can only say positive things about it. But there's always a strategy to it. And here's my bonus tip. When you feel the hunger coming on and you're like, oh, I'd rather eat, go for a workout. Nothing too crazy. So don't think you have to go hit it hard at the gym or in your basement, wherever you work out right now or do a tough workout. Drink like a cup of water or a glass of water and then go for a walk. Do some Pilates, do some yoga, whatever it is, but exercise at a low intensity for right now. So nothing high, so don't go for a sprint, go for a long, easy run or an easy bike ride and see how this will change when you're hungry, when you, what to do when you're hungry, how you feel. And when uh, my husband saw me fasting to begin with and we're triathletes as many of you know and he says well you can't just not eat before you go out for your workout and I said I can because I have adapted my lifestyle to a fasting lifestyle and it's not a big deal I go for my workout and come back and then eat after but what I want you to grab after you listen to all of this and 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 our inspired to try intermittent fasting. I want you to grab your inter your free intermittent fasting starter guide, starter guide at Heike Yates. So it's the intermittent fasting starter guide at HeikeYates.com. Grab that. I have additional tips and strategies for you to get started on intermittent fasting. And as always, reach out, comment below this video. Let me know what questions you have. And Maybe take a peek into the four week lean out program, which is also on HeikeGates.com and see if this might be something for you. With that, my friends, I'm out of here. I'm excited to introduce you to intermittent fasting and I'll see you next Wednesday at one o'clock with another topic from the Pursue Your Spark gang over here. Take care. Ciao.